Canada had been at war since 1939, joining forces with Britain and France against Germany. At the beginning, the Canadian Army was only 8,000 strong. In a few short months, tens of thousands enlist as the buildup begins. Canadian women also want to play an active role, so they lobby politicians to allow them into the services. It takes until 1941 for the government to create the women's forces. More than 45,000 will serve, some of them overseas, though they are never sent to the front. On the home front, the big question is, who will work in the war factories? The obvious answer, recruit women. But to get women into factories, they needed just the right role model. So the National Film Board went looking for someone to feature in their publicity campaign, and they found her at the Inglis factory in Toronto. Her job is assembling Bren guns. Her name, Veronica Foster. Nice, but the NFB wants a more catchy name. She becomes Ronnie, the Bren gun girl. Part of it is to create an acceptance, both in the, in the general public, but also the men who are still working in those factories. So why not have this beautiful model-esque woman uh, stand in for the whole of the women's workforce at the time? These images show women like Ronnie after work, having fun, behaving as a woman should behave. They were still, above all, expected to be feminine and also expected to want to get married and to catch a husband. Employers find that women can do many jobs as well as men. Some jobs, better. They discover that factory work is usually no more difficult than housework. Veronica Foster's family is the perfect model for the NFB. They're hardworking and patriotic. While Veronica works at the factory, her three brothers have gone to fight the war. But the star of the show, the poster girl for Canada's entire propaganda campaign, is Ronnie the Bren Gun Girl. She later becomes a singer and pursues a career as a model. In the following months, she would have an American cousin. To drum up support for its war effort, the American propaganda machine would create Rosie the Riveter. And now Veronica Foster with the familiar strains of the sweet ballad, True. Give me all the love I give. 